welcome back to our channel as you guys saw in last week's video we actually broke down mike tyson kind of showed you guys what mike tyson was all about for this video itself we're just gonna we're just gonna give you guys three drills that you guys could do anywhere that will help you guys sort of emulate mike tyson so for these three drills you guys are not going to need expensive material so hopefully you guys enjoy this video we're actually going to start probably with the most complicated drill this drill itself he actually does it it's very common you guys could actually see it in a lot of his training montages so pretty much all we're going to actually do here is we're going to use these two mitts you guys don't have to use mitts it's optional and for the sake of this video i'm actually going to use a body pad as well that way louis could actually follow up with the punches pretty much what we're going to incorporate here is mike tyson's defense so we're going to show you guys a little bit of his head movements how he's pretty much going to step forward closing that distance with his head movement and once he's close enough he's going to pretty much do the, the model shift and shift over to the softball stance in this case and hit me to the body and probably we're going to add another combination up here he's pretty much going to start off from a distance and i'm going to use these mitts i'm actually just throw the jab to kind of keep him at bay I have been to 14 different schools. It was hard to make friends at 17. Mom kicks me out. I will sell candy, but turn to weed. Finally making money. So soon after, child service is looking for me. I won't see my crush anymore. Where well, I'm at the door. Escorted by cops, I waited to be placed at a foster home. So sad to see so many kids I'm waiting with. Thinking at the time, I'm leaving. I think he respects, respects for his Another thing that was very noticeable about Mike Tyson was his head movement. His head movement was probably one of the reasons why he was such a great counter striker because of the fact that he would make people miss with his head movement and automatically right away throw either one to five punch combinations. So head movement was a very big important aspect of Mike Tyson's style. And although in most training montages you see him actually has a slip bag incorporated into his training routine. So we don't have a slip bag and we're just trying to keep the tradition going by actually still being cheap and inexpensive for a lot of you guys. We're just going to use this tennis ball. It's attached to this rope that's attached to this pole that we have here. The rope itself and the tennis balls should reach about neck level that way you guys could actually be tested with your head movement. So Louis is going to demonstrate the head movement routine that Mike Tyson sort of follow. And got some bread, split it between the three, mom's got home, I will leave, hit the streets. Downtown Los Angeles is where I be, downtown Los Angeles is where I be. It was hard being young, trying to be the man. Every couple of months we would move, couldn't afford the rent. I have been to 14 different schools. It was hard to make friends at 17. Mom kicks me out. I will sell candy, but turn to weed. Finally making money, but soon after, child services looking for me. I won't see my crush anymore. Where well, I'm at the door, escorted by cops. Now wait. For our third and final drill, Louis will actually be working on the heavy bag. This is a very common shift that you guys see in Mike Tyson style. Some people like to refer to it as the model shift. Who is going to start in the orthodox position? He's going to go for a jab. He's actually going to throw two left hooks. And after that, he's going to shift over to the southpaw position. He's going to throw a couple hooks from there. This is a very common type of shift that you guys would actually see in Mike Tyson style. If you guys saw our Mike Tyson breakdown video, there are a couple examples of the shift actually being shown against real opposition. <laughs> You see, you, you tend to make. Those are going to be the three drills that we have for you guys. Some of you guys probably think that this video is a little bit repetitive because probably you guys stay watching Mike Tyson train all day. Some of our movements look a bit off because Mike Tyson had a very special style, a style that was actually made by custom model. That peekable style of boxing is a little bit different, something we don't really see every day. It's pretty that. difficult, especially if you're used to like the, the rolling and bobbing and weaving like this. It's kind of it's kind of difficult to kind of get used to the side to side. And like occasionally in the videos, you may see me kind of do kind of uh, my like just what I'm natural to natural just like the regular boxing movements you guys we've seen on this channel and so it's kind of difficult you have to get used to the side to side movement that'll be it hopefully you guys enjoyed these videos hopefully you guys enjoyed our latest breakdown of Mike Tyson if not there's gonna be a link in the description box that will actually take you to that video so that'll be all thank you guys for watching till next time